Hello, welcome back to the Pickle Joe. Yeah, we're going. Yay, Battle of Hoth! Let's Battle of Hoth, I'm excited. What can we use for this one? Only one, no unlockables. I'm Gekman. I'm Mark. And this is... This the is, Battle of Hoth. This is a Super Mario 3D World for the GameCube. <laughs> for the GameCube. It yes. Was, I'm, I'm playing as Luigi. I'm, I'm playing as Green Mario. Whip and Tow Cable. So that's what these things are. They have they have blasters and they they have towing. What was the origin of the tow cable? Because I mean, like it wasn't designed for taking down AT AT. That was Luke being like, "Use your car boots and tow cables." <laughs> they say, "Oh yeah, obviously this is like a maintenance vehicle. It's not a thing. It has some weapons on it just so they can do it." But they do. Hey, see three people in the background there. <laughs> they do mention. Oh, we probably could have gone over to it. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's better later in the game where they can have all the ships and go out and have the guy talk about them. But okay, in the original one, they do, they do mention that they were having trouble adapting the speeders to the cold, so yeah, they are made that. for these. So interesting thing, the ATSTs, which are the small two-legged walkers, obviously. Um, they're only in like two shots. Yeah, in, in the, in the there was a big there was there was a bigger thing that they were going to be, and they actually looked a little different than the one in Jedi, but. Uh, they had to edit. They had to cut it out because like the background slipped during the uh, during the mo the uh, stop motion, and so it didn't no, no. work at all or something like that. And uh, but they that. were in there, and that's where they came from. They were redesigned for Jedi. Yeah, I did not know that. I always yeah. wondered why that was just in that one shot. Yeah, like it literally just shows them walking past the AT-ATs, and that's it. <laughs> they, they put them in the background of some other ones. Oh, and I like this. There rate. was only there was only one, one probe droid in the movie. Yeah, and now they're an, just it's like, always an extra thing. In they're enemies. always like fodder in every game. Just like oh, we need some shitty enemies, but it put some probe droids in there. Uh, ATSTs. This is actually a good one because it's kind of like waves. Because we also got to take out the um. These guys are fucking oh shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> Totally killing yeah, us. Yeah, we gotta because we have to kill like the 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 bad. Uh... You gotta take out the ATSTs first. Yeah, because they're closer. Because it's really you can't you don't want anything to uh, grab them. You have to take out some of the the stormtroopers as well. I remember. Uh, I forgot for gold. The best There's way to take out ATSTs is from behind. Ah, uh, how would you say this compares to the, um, Shadows of the Empire level? Shit, some of it. <laughs> I like the sim dump simplicity of the Shadows of the Empire one, but that doesn't make it good. Yes. Oh, I, I remember there's a... One of these one of these things, I think, has a... One of the... No, the bonus is in the, the reactor when it blows up. Oh, okay. So you actually have to fly back around to get it. Yeah, you can't you can't target the ATSTs from the front. You have to do it from the back. I'm going after Be an ATAT. -AT. Oh, Wish you're a luck. rebel. You're a rebel without a cause. All with all the cause in the world. You can actually do this on the, um, the, uh, old Atari ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what Empire was originally on the Atari. But I... Yeah, this is actually the longest, this is like a minute and 20 second cutscene, actually. The camera work is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love the music. <laughs> yeah, Battle Hoth music's great. That's why everyone yes. loves the Battle Hoth from the Shazam. Empire. <laughs> oh, that's because it's the only time thing that matched the actual movie. Yeah, that too. Uh, Dak's gonna bite it. So, uh, did <laughs> the AT-ATs were inspired by the Martian tripods in War of the Worlds. Yes, and they were, they were supposed to be a big walking tanks. Yep. Even though it's kind of silly. So in the movie, you never know if it's like if Dak gets shot or if the the thing malfunctions. It's never really clear. I always assumed he got shot. Yeah, that's what I always thought. Wedge was the only one to trip one of these up, actually, in the movie. Wedge and uh, I forget who his wing pilot was. I think it was Wes. Yeah, because it says nice shot, Wes. Wes Jansen. Can't put Andy. Wedge and Wes in the one ship. It's too <laughs> much similarness. <laughs> nice shot, Jansen. I like the way it's after the cable falls to the ground. Yeah, that's the other thing. The, anymore, the, cool. over. the other thing is that sometimes when you knock them over, they do the um, the one. They do the. They have two animations: when it trips, and they have the one when it falls sideways, sideways, which is when he, which is when Luke blew it up uh, from the 
by hand. Yeah. This is a long cutscene. Yeah, this is the longest in the game, I think. Yeah, it's been 20 seconds or so. I was already tripping one, so. Yeah, this is the best bit, because you're just behind the ATSTs yeah. and you're just like, yeah, that's the only way to kill these guys is from behind, otherwise they just rape your shields. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take one on the left. Rape! Okay. And you can't do this in first person, actually. Nope. You can actually fly through their legs and do it, which I like doing sometimes. Ba, 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 ba. Boom, see, it falls over, and the, that that's the sideways yeah, one. Yeah, that's from when yeah, Luke chucked a grenade up and down. So back when you all used his lightsaber before was for cutting holes in yeah. AT ATs. Oh no, I died. Ba, ba, da, ba. Oh, is that for ATSTs? Oh, it's exploded. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take out these things. I think I'm going over there. Oh. I have to blow these up? I can't remember. No, you don't have to blow them up. Alright, I'll get this, this one over here. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, dude, dude. This does when you want to play Shadows of the Empire. Yeah. It's blowing my, blew my mind playing this in Shadows of the Empire. Doing this oh, movie. yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, you can do this in older, in the, some of the older um, Super NES games, but there was, two, or the NES game actually, it was, it was 2D. The, I believe it was 3D in the Atari, which is on the Rebel Strike disc, by the way. Everybody yeah. can play the two of the two original and the arcade games. The arcade games, which is the the Atari arcade games, which is um, New Hope and Empire, and then they have a different Jedi old game, uh, where you're just like on speeders or something. Speed yeah. Right there, yeah. All right, you gotta protect those guys. I'm gonna go get the bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, I shouldn't pilot and drink. <laughs> drink piloting. It's crap. I'm gonna turn around. And so that's why it's clever about that. Bonus is the yeah. basically the game points in the wrong direction. You have to fly back the other way to Yeah, no, they were they were well hidden. There it is. Still amazed by how good this game looks. Looks better in not split screen. It no it does, and everything's bigger, so we can freaking see anything and everything, but I guess like games like this aren't hard to make look good. It's like racing games because yeah. there's no like you don't need a lot of polygons or moving parts. This is true, but, but yeah, it's still the, the levels good. are still pretty big, you know. Oh yeah, and the skybox is amazing. This one you have to shoot what individual things? People? No, ties come in. They're okay. all rebels. Don't shoot the rebels. You're protecting them. Look at all these ties that are up in the air. I'm just shooting the I'll fucking rebels. Maybe the rebels deserve to die. I think they did. Because <laughs> that's the thing is like, uh, so we can talk about like the like the politics in the first movie. It, it's kind of interesting. Like, it, it, I think it would have been an interesting thing if they are in the first uh, episode. Episode one would have been an interesting it thing. In New Hope or is in Phantom Menace? Phantom Menace. Oh. If they could have um, made it not made suck. it so it's well, yeah, not suck, but it's like it, there, there's an interesting thing you could do with like the fact that not everybody like. The, the Imperials aren't automatically the bad guys at that point. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, they start blowing up Death Stars and whatever, but it's like the Rebels are also probably can be considered terrorist from another point of view. It's only that the Clone Wars TV series doubled in between the Separatists. There's a whole episode dedicated to the fact that the Separatists didn't like the war any more than the, um... Yeah. Anyone else did. I was like when Newt Gunray in the third uh, Revenge of the Sith was like, uh, All we want is peace! And then gets sliced in half. Yeah, but he didn't want peace because he'd been a prick the whole time. He was just trying to get, like, saved. He didn't generally mean it. He was just trolling. <laughs> I'm sure other Separatists just wanted peace, but, you yeah. know, New Gunner, that guy's a douchebag. So there's, like, a whole interesting thing you could have done with that that's probably akin to some other, um, you know, recent stuff, or things like Israel-Palestine conflict that have conflicting views and stuff. Yeah. And he could have worked in some sort of angle like that into a fictional universe. Um, but George Lucas, you know, just wanted to focus on making Obi-Wan disrobe as many times as he could in the movie. Did we lose? Yeah, we I think lost. we lost. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Mm. Well, that means you guys get an extra long episode this time. Yay. <laughs> I've never lost on this level before. And now you're here all of a sudden. It's <laughs> 
<sighs> Does it make us replay the whole level or just that part? Yeah, because oh, it's, it's a mission level. fail, not yeah. 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 Replay mission. Maybe it's checkpoints. Yeah, but this is really like the only like the probably the biggest mission. Nah, no, the worst one's the one where the the, the um, Imperial cruiser crashes and you have to try to. Oh yeah, oh that's a great level though. <laughs> that's a great level, but I mean like I had to play through that so many times to fucking get that. And it was annoying and shit. Yeah, because that was a tough one. That was hard. Alright. So, oh, you can actually blow these up. Yeah, which is what you want to do, just up the ATS, yeah. take some time down. Uh, you can actually blow up the uh, Lambda shells too, I think. Yep. They're you easy. Blow one up, there we go. They're easy to blow up than the. I'm gonna circle around. And the ships. So we can do this super fast this time. Speed run. <laughs> What's your favorite Star Wars ship, Mark? Um, oh, the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> Actually, it's the B-Wing, which really? is the one that looks like a T. I don't know, something about it I always like. It handles like awesome. Well, it handles just like the X-Men. It is, but it's not supposed to, it's, it's not supposed to be like a big versatile ship, you know? No. What are we missing? Oh, we gotta go up here. We gotta start using the... There it is. Start using the radar. Oof, I just crashed into a whole bunch of rebel troops. Good work. <laughs> Skip! Yep. Go again. There are definitely more TIE fighters playing this multiplayer than there are oh, yeah. single player. That's how they've, they've tried to divvy it up and make it harder. Yeah. Alright, I'm taking on the right. Alright, I get the one left. Me. This must have been like pretty crappy to animate because the, uh, or at least in the original show to the stop motion in the original movie, because the, uh, uh, the snow spears, excuse me, are. When they turn, their thing comes up. Oh, the little flash. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm already on the middle one. So I'm gonna get the middle one, I'm trying to get the ATS keys that landed. Those bastards. Those, all those are those I to your enemy counter. Right, but they are shooting at us. They are, that is true. That is true, Mug. Well said. What cannons? There we go. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the bonus again. Alright, I'm just gonna skip to it. I'm not even gonna bother with the damn probe droids. No, I'm just gonna get the X-Wings before I blow everything up. Alright. <laughs> advanced lasers is very important. Yes. The game is much easier with them. <laughs> I think shields are what you get in the f is the bonus in the first level. Yeah. Which is kind of why you want them. Whatever. But whatever. I think my favorite level in this thing, other than uh, probably Empire, or I'm sorry, the Battle of Endor, is the Cloud City one. Yeah, that's kind of like the remake of that level from the 64. Yeah, because you gotta have a, like a Bespin level. I have yeah, a Cloud City level. Bespin's very Star Wars. Oh no, we gotta take out, ignore the TIE Fighters, take out the bombers. Yeah. Uh, I can't hit them with this sh fucking shit. Let's switch! I would, the little icon wasn't coming up to switch. Yeah. Those bombers take so many friggin' hits to yeah, take down. Yeah. Between now, like, terrible accuracy. Yeah. Be sure to put the yeah, cheat on for all of the upgrades. Could have made our life much easier. I've, I've only killed one, so there's two. They take a lot of damage, though, they are. They're basically bosses. I'm fucking. I take one down. The time it's taken me to take one down, they've killed like three ships. Yeah. Yeah, we might need to put cheats on after this. <laughs> cheats are fun anyway! Sometimes. They are in this yeah. game, all the upgrades there and funky ships. Alright, I still got all of those bombers. 
Uh, tell your tell your guys to go into the ties because I think we got rid of the bombers, so we should be uh, just on ties now. There's more bombers that come along. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's there's another five bombers over here. Fuck. Fuck the tie fighters. The tie bombers are bad. Something I have noticed in this to keep the frame rate up when they get a little far ahead, they turn into two D sprites. Eh, it works because it's uh. Because it's a video game. Yeah, it's a video game. Huh? We're doing okay right now. Uh, I see much. Guy. There's one. There we go. I'm doing it. They formed up, which means there are no points. TIE fighters left. So there'll be more to come, but we're just waiting for them to take off. Oh, there we go, we did. Yay! Success! Get the fuck out of here! We're leaving now! Those medical ships actually look like those giant, like, the horseshoe crabs. <laughs> we did it! We did! Congratulations! How badly did we do it? Let's find <laughs> out. We got bronze! Yeah, we, we did it pretty quickly. I like metals. Accuracy. Yeah, Accuracy is yeah. always a problem. Alright, well, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time as yes. whatever's next, because at this point I forget. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Probably some kind of level. I think it's the B-Wing level, if you're wrong. Go.